West Miami alongside me, Alex Toledo, as we continue this second half of action. 14-41 to play here in this college basketball matchup that features the Florida Atlantic Isles, who are playing host to the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs in Conference USA Basketball. The Isles, at one point, they lost four in a row, and they're coming off a win on the road over the FIU Panthers, their rival game, and right now they have a 38-33 lead over the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs with 14-34 to play. Here is Zucevic inside Stapleton. Beautiful pass, and he gets the foul. Xavier Stapleton, the senior laden experience of him is just shining through these last couple games, Wes. That is now 12 points for Stapleton. He's leading the way after a 20 point game over at FIU. He's been awesome for them the last couple games. And don't forget, he's coming off the bench. Even more impressive. Stapleton connects on a three point play. Owls. With a 41 to 38 advantage, 14 23 to play here in this second half of college basketball. Bracey off the left wing, looking over the 2 3 zone of the Owls. Curls inside. Pemberton back to Bracey. Pemberton gets a corner. Three left side. Got again that one to fall. There was Rashawn Langston for the Bulldogs. Very good shooter. He hasn't made a three yet today, but now he just got one on court. So that might get him going here, Wes. 13 58 to play here in the second half. Stapleton, pass inside, tip, but going out of bounds. Trying to get it was Pepperton. It's going to be Owl's possession. Rare mistake from Stapleton to kind of almost throw the ball away there, but has lived to fight another day. Far side and Adjit Chick is in front court. He takes a three left wing, but he draws a foul. Wow. I think he got undercut there, Wes. That's where the foul, the foul was called. It, was, it didn't look like he got fouled up top. It definitely looked like he got undercut. He did not kick his legs out. So Adjit going to the charity stripe for three shots. And he drew the foul there on Pepperton. That he's not afraid to get in there and shoot the ball no matter what. Even when he's struggling, he's not afraid to shoot. Missed the first one, connected on the second. So, decent three for free throw shooter, Wes. Not the, not the best. You know, a lot of college players struggle with the free throw line. He's one, he's one of them, but he's been solid for the life. As he connected on the final one there, 13.50 to play here. Owls 43, Bulldogs 36 here on the Owls home court. Curling with it is Bracey. Head of the key, working with the lock is Powell. Off the right wing, working with it, he thought about a three there was Langston. Back to Bracey, top of the key, curls, looking over 2-3 zone with Archer defend him. Crossover left side, puts up a tough shot off glass, can't get the fall. Zuzovic pulls it out the sky. Man, this matchup is going on that use is just really hard to get through and penetrate against. You really have to, they really force you to shoot from the outside to beat them less. Archer with only five points in this contest, working basket right for the Owls. Stapleton, the leading scorer, takes a three off the left corner, offline as it goes out of bounds in the air ball. It's going to be Bulldogs' possession. Looks like that may have been a, a shot that was a little bit out of his range there, Wes. He can knock down threes, but usually it's better if he's in rhythm shooting them, not, not off a, a couple dribbles. Bracey walking the ball over the midcourt strike. Right-handed dribble off the right wing, looking over the 2-3 zone. They really need Bracey to get going here, West. Now, penetrating. Working with the inside now. And drawing the foul was Powell, as he had the ball delivered to him from Langston. Yeah, it looks, it looks like Stapleton got him down low there, West, before he can block the shot. Oliver Powell will be at the charity stripe now. And they're going to call the foul on Cedric Jackson. That's who they call it on. Interesting call, because it definitely looked like Stapleton was the one there, but Jackson may have hacked him before that. Coming in now is Michael Forrest. Anthony Adger is going to take a breather. You got to love how close these two teams have played here, West. Good old Conference USA basketball. 12.43 to play. Owls 43, Bulldogs 38. We got a good one here in Boca Raton. Forrest looking forward. Chest pass over to Niang. Niang off the left corner. Forrest top of the key. Trying to break off Bracey. Here's the left corner. Niang looking for a white uniform. Shot lock is at seven. And Niang's got to do something with it. Forrest takes a three off the right wing. Rattles out. Clearing it out the sky now is Muhammad for the Bulldogs. Langston off the right wing. Left handed dribble chest pass over to Pemberton. Beautiful ball moved by the Bulldogs. Bracey off the left side. Met by Forrest. 
Brace is trying to get it down low here, West. Let's see what they do here. Curling inside, pushing inside now is Powell, and he can't finish. Off the foot of Stapleton, back to Bracey, but we have a whistle. Man, Stapleton just could not corral that basketball, and ended up hitting off the head of Michael Forrest, and he just couldn't grab it. Now, looks like we'll get a timeout here, West. With 11.55 to play here in the second half of a college basketball matchup between the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and